Hey Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is just a collective energy read. We're going to delve into energies that surround you at the current moment. This is a timeless uh, reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? This could play out past, present, or future, and take what resonates if it resonates for you. Remember, you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. And I want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve into the current energies. That's around Scorpio right now. Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, Scorpio. I see you being very strong at the moment. Still having some fight in you. I'm here to get this money, to get this stability that you're so rightfully deserving of. It's like I'm never going to lower my self-worth for anyone or anything. Here we have the emperor energy coming in strong, trying to dominate over you. You could have someone stressing you out right now. Yeah, with the two of swords. It's like this person is... Trying to put their will onto you, like trying to get you to do things and see things their way. And with the strength card, I see you needing strength just to persevere through this experience. Yeah, with the three of wands, it's like you're anticipating good to come eventually. Or, oh yeah, you are with the justice card here. And I was going to say, or you're anticipating more hard times to come. That's why you're in this nine of wands energy. But you know, this could very well be at a job as well, too. You know that you're going to receive your justice, you know, maybe your position, a higher position, or maybe you have a case going. For others of you, this is someone that you could be married to and this person tries to belittle you and say like basically what they do is more important than what you do. Even though you wear multiple hats, you could have a family with this person. The bottom deck is always having to wait, being patient, okay? And it's like you're tired of that. With the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, it's like I've been patient long enough, all right? You're holding on to this vision that you have of being abundant, of having more stability. With the Knight of Swords here and the Page of Pentacles, you may even... Oh, let me get one more. You, oh, you may even be dealing with someone else. With this King of Pentacles, this is your actual match here. And you could be, damn, smash that like button if you're dealing with someone else. But this is a relationship and you're dealing with someone else. That's what it looks like. And for those of, those of you that are not, you're just um, keeping an open mind until your person comes in. Because you know your soulmate is out there somewhere. Here we have the seven of wands. There's that energy of, again, like um, having boundaries, willing to fight to the end. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords here, you don't care how cold you have to get. You're going to, oh, and with the Nine of Wands again, you don't care what you have to do. You're going to make it out of this situation. With the Sun card at the bottom, you're definitely going to go towards your happiness. And I even see the Knight of Pentacles. You don't care how long it's going to take. Here we have the Six of Pentacles for you. It's like you're not receiving what it is that you need to be receiving. So you're going to strategically move forward away from it. That's what I see. Yeah, with the Page of Wands and the Four of Cups. This, this emotional passion. Oh, with the Page of Cups. Yeah. It's like you're thinking like, you know what? I'm way more deserving of this. It comes in like it's like an epiphany where you're just looking like, damn, this don't look like everything I deserve. And then you begin to move away from it. You begin to move forward. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful and is able to make a house a home. Okay. 
Yeah, with the Empress here. Now you're coming in as the Empress. See, you're reclaiming your power from this person. You see how this Empress is fixing their clothes, getting their clothes fixed up on them. For some of you, I'm hearing that you're delving into um, raising your consciousness. Like I was hearing like Christ consciousness or like um, expanding your consciousness. Okay, you could be getting downloads and stuff like that too, being divinely guided towards your happiness. Putting this self-love into yourself as well. And it's getting you off this hamster wheel. It's actually making it shift to the point where you're going to go into this empress mode. Where you're getting the things that you deserve because you're on the frequency of receiving. That which you embody. Yeah, with the strength card here, you definitely are going to persevere through this. Get through this past situation that you've been dealing with. This could have even been like a past life karmic as well. Like somebody that, you know, you're meant to learn a lesson from as well. Okay. And gain some type of spiritual evolution with the temperance card here. I see you leveling out your own thoughts. Okay. Like really finding what is most important to you. And it may be small at first, but I see you taking the small steps needed to come out of. It's like you were dealing with a narcissist that kind of got in your mind a lot. And you second guessed a lot of your choices and decisions with the bottom deck here is the tower. I feel as though, ooh, and the page of swords. So you feel like looking back on this situation like you did it to yourself but i feel like don't blame yourself this was something very difficult that you had to make it through or that you will make it through with the strength card and the six of cups it lets me know that you needed a lot of strength to get through this that's why you're coming in as the wounded warrior here twice but very resilient with the judgment card here it lets me know that you're going to pass a judgment over this like it will come to an end this faulty relationship this faulty stability that you had all of that is coming to an end scorpio you're anticipating a decision that you're gonna need to make with the three of wands and the two of wands it's like you're anticipating this decision okay you're a little afraid of it with the three of wands you're afraid that what comes in is going to be tragic okay and but it's only a matter of time until this tower hits yeah, with the page of wands, you tell yourself, like, look, you can't take this any longer. So with the justice card, we have the strength. So you persevere through to this justice. You make it to the end, Scorpio. For sure you do. With the moon card, this is hidden from you. Okay? This three of swords, this heartbreak and pain that you went through with this emperor, with this person that has suppressed you for so long. The King of Swords, even with their words, very abusive verbally. Um, with the Six of Swords, I see you finally being able to move away, finally being able to separate yourself, finally being able to calm your mind and get out of your mind. The bottom deck is the King of Wands. I feel as though this person was willing to do anything uh, to take control to take control and use passions misplaced. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords. This Emperor doesn't even need to, I mean, this King of Wands doesn't even need to come out um, reverse. It still lets me know with the Seven of Swords, they can't be trusted. With the Four of Cups here and the Page of Swords, let me get one more. And the ooh, Ace of Wands. This person would constantly look at you, know that you're deserving of more, but then they would study how to keep you suppressed, how to keep you away from this new beginning, thinking in lack, okay? With the high priestess here, they really knew more and they weren't leading and they weren't like telling you, okay, that you were really deserving of love. Ace of Cups, that you could really have that with anyone. With the Seven of Pentacles, they may have tried to cover up mistakes within themselves, okay? Yeah, with the Seven of Swords and the Tower and the Fool, but this person plays themselves, okay? In the end, the real shall prevail, right? In the end, you get what it is that you are so deserving of, and it's justice, Scorpio, so moon arising. 
moving forward it says look at the bigger picture could have been dealing with a sagittarius sun moon horizon here we have a time for healing so make sure that you do go in and do that inner work because i see that blossoming into your freedom your justice okay we also have balanced spirituality and practicality. Could have been dealing with the Pisces or you could have that somewhere in your chart. Could be a cross watcher. But know that prosperity lies ahead. And then we have Taurus, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Lastly, the end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? Know that there is an end into this tough cycle. It is the time to release this negativity. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. And lastly, bring love into the situation um, with that Aquarius energy i see a lot of transformative energy here for you scorpio and i feel like you'll be able to receive what it is that you're so rightfully deserving of in the end so if this message resonated with you smash that like button and if you want to see more reads like this one smash that like button thanks for your love and support to this channel until then peace and love